Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. For those of you who are new to this channel and just tuning in, I am Satra, owner of Satra's Touch Birthing and Beyond. And today I want to talk with you all about um, a very awesome food. It can be considered a superfood. It's a complete protein. It's not only very healthy for you, but it is really, really tasty if you know how to season it right. I'm talking about quinoa. So not too long ago, I shared on um, my YouTube page, All Things Motherhood Wellness with Abdullah Satra, um, an article highlighting the benefits of quinoa. And um, I also commented on that post that I wanted to discuss. So today's video, today's blog is the discussion of quinoa. So Quinoa is a very nutritious um, food. Like I was saying, it's a complete protein. So it's really good. It's a really good protein source um, for anyone, but especially for those who are plant-based. And for uh, pregnant women, uh, because when you are pregnant, you are in need of uh, consuming um, a good amount of protein because it takes protein to uh, build the many different cells that your body needs to build to help uh, produce your healthy baby. And so um, quinoa contains that complete protein. Um, it is a food that I love that I eat regardless. And when I was pregnant um, with my last two children, I ate in abundance. Um, and so it not only is um, a complete protein, but it contains other vitamins and minerals that are really, really healthy for you. Um, it actually surpasses brown rice as far as nutrients and being nutrient dense. So um, in preparing quinoa, it, you, you prepare it similar to how you would prepare uh, brown rice, um, even couscous, uh, though, you know, grain, uh, grains along those lines. Um, but it's, it's far more superior in nutrition. Um, so, uh, quinoa, when I was pregnant, quinoa was one of my go-to foods um, to make sure that I was not only getting my protein, but I was also getting um, the grains that I need. Um, although quinoa is considered to be a seed, even though it's categorized as a whole grain, but um, just to make sure that I was getting, um, you know, a, a balance of nutrients. Um, and so there's many different ways that you can um, prepare quinoa. Um, you can prepare quinoa as not only just a meal for dinner time, but even a meal for lunch and breakfast. So I've had quinoa um, for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. And um, one of the ways that you can prepare quinoa as like a hot cereal because I've prepared it as a hot cereal for breakfast is, um, you know, you would prepare quinoa, you would cook it. Um, once it's fluffed up and, and um, done and prepared, I would um, scoop a good amount of the quinoa into a bowl and I would add um, some seasonings such as um, cinnamon, um, maybe a little brown sugar or coconut sugar. And um, you could add some nutmeg to it um, and 
add uh, a little milk to it and stir it up. And if you want, you could also add some fruit to it as well. Um, and then you have your hot cereal in the form of quinoa. Um, and then um, as far as with lunch and dinner, um, that could be pretty similar as far as uh, the way in which you could prepare, which is a ton of ways to prepare because you can prepare quinoa as a salad. You can add the quinoa to your salad or you can make um, like a quinoa bean salad type dish where you have, you know, quinoa and a variety of beans mixed in together with some veggies and all that kind of stuff. And then you can also just eat quinoa as is, you know, just season it up, but just eat it just solely as like a grain in place of rice or couscous or yeah, just, you know, things of that nature. And quinoa comes in a variety of um, kinds of quinoa. So you have your uh, white quinoa, you have black quinoa, you have red quinoa, and then you also have it where they combine all three and you can buy the quinoa as a tricolor quinoa. So I just really wanted to take a few minutes to kind of like shine some light on this food item because not only is it a food item that you can do a variety of uh, things with it, um, and, but it's, it's really nutrient dense and it's really, really a good um, way to go for vegans, if you're plant-based, if you're pregnant, nursing, all of those wonderful things. So I think that um, you should give quinoa a try. If you have not already tried it, um, you can um, Google quinoa and you can also get some ideas. Like when you Google quinoa, you can get some ideas from Google as to like some different recipes that you can um, prepare uh, with uh, quinoa. And they also have all sorts of pictures on Google to, you know, kind of give you an idea of like different things that you can do with quinoa too. So I just wanted to, you know, take some time, you know, like I said, I would on my um, Facebook page to discuss this and to uh, kind of like, I guess, give my um, experience with quinoa. Very, very, very tasty, nutrient-dense food. Um, it has, you know, benefited me great, greatly um, a number of nights where I was like just really needing something that was, you know, not going to take a long time to cook because it doesn't take a long time to cook, but also very filling and nutrient dense. So from my experience, I think that you should give quinoa a try. I give quinoa a thumbs up. Um, very, nutri very nutritious and very tasty and filling, you know, depending upon how you prepare this grain or seed. Um, so until next time, I hope that this, um, this video, this vlog was beneficial and that you will give this nutritious food item a try. I will chat with y'all later in another upcoming uh, vlog. Uh, I don't know, maybe I may discuss another post of mine off my page or Maybe I'll just, I don't know, discuss something that maybe um, a client or, or, or mom may want me to discuss. I don't know. I don't know what my next, what my next video is going to be, but it'll be soon. So just stay tuned. And I greatly appreciate you all for taking the time out of your busy schedule to listen to my video. I will chat with y'all later. Bye.